Today we're going to continue our work on story structure, our I can statement as a reminder in case I didn't say it enough yesterday is I can refer to parts of my text and describe how each part builds on earlier parts. Um, today we're going to talk about referring to the text that we're reading. So we're going to look at a story, we're going to look at a poem, and we're going to look at a play um, and kind of try to answer questions by looking back at our reading. Now I know this is going to be a little different than normal because obviously we can't highlight things or draw on our papers or write or underline or things like that. So you're just going to have to be imaginative and use Google Slides as much as you can in ways that you can without deleting any of the stuff that I already put on there. So right now let's look on the first slide that you're, or I guess technically the second slide because the first is the title. We have a paper that says how to refer to text. Now we're going to try to adapt that to how we're doing online learning. So just be patient and give yourself a break if it gets frustrating, okay? So the first part you need to read the entire story, the entire poem or the entire play. Read the whole thing first, then you're going to Try to remember all these parts that might be really important or maybe make a shape on your um, on your slide deck and put a little star next to this really important sentence that you know that you might need to come back to next time or a stanza on a play or a scene, or a, I'm sorry, not a play, a poem or a scene or anything like that. Okay, so we're just going to have to play along with how we can use our technology to do what we need to get done. The next part, you're going to read the question or the assignment task. So once you've finished reading your story or poem or play the first time and you've underlined or put a star next to all the important parts, you're going to then go to the questions. Read all of the questions. Don't answer them first. Read the questions and see if you can go back into the story or the play and find where that happens so that you know when you go back into the answer, you know that that. That's correct. It can't be anything different. So you're going to, after that, it says recall where you went, where you found that information in the text. So make sure you go back and you look again. Then you, it says to highlight and underline exactly where you found it. Well, again, that's not something that we can do just on our computer. So you can create a little shape next and put it next to that spot that's really important that has the answer in it. So you know where to go back to if you need to look again. Then in your answers that are full sentences, remember, do full sentences. Don't just type chapter one or stanza three. Type, you can find this answer in stanza three or you can find this answer in chapter two where they talk about this. You'll use direct quotes, meaning something that was said in the story, the play or the poem or, um, just different words that you found in it. Don't plagiarize, remember, don't copy exactly, but if you're doing a quote, that's okay. You can do that, you can put a quote in. And you use those to help support your answers. Okay, if you have questions, make sure you come find me on GoGuardian or during our Google Meet sessions. Um, that's all for now. Keep going with the assignment, good luck.